Among content management systems, WordPress is the leading one, powering businesses, e-commerce stores, and content creators worldwide. And be it manually or using a handy plugin, you can power up WordPress with email sending capabilities. So today, I'll walk you through all the steps of setting up email functionality in the CMS, allowing you to reach your customers with valuable information right away. Also, as a bonus, I'll show you how to prevent unauthorized SMTP server access with just a few lines of code. Make sure you keep watching. Hello, and welcome to MailTrap Videos, where we explore the world of emails. To kick things off, head to the root directory of your WordPress website and open the WP config PHP file. In this file, add a code snippet that will tell WordPress to use SMTP for sending emails. This snippet is necessary as ZAMP doesn't have a built-in mail functionality and each of its lines completes a different function. SMTP username tells WordPress which username to use when connecting to your SMTP server. SMTP password complements your SMTP username by providing the required password. SMTP server defines the address of the outgoing mail server. SMTP from determines the from email address that recipients see. SMTP name sets the display name shown alongside your email address. SMTP port specifies which port to use when connecting to the SMTP server. SMTP secure indicates the type of encryption used to protect your emails in transit. SMTP auth enables or disables the need for authentication. SMTP debug logs errors and diagnostic information during the mail process. Once the snippet is added, go to the WordPress themes directory, specifically the subfolder of the theme you are currently using. In the subfolder should be a file named functions.php. At the bottom of that file, you'll need to add code that forces WordPress to send emails via the SMTP server you just configured. When broken down line by line, the code does the following. First, it hooks into WordPress's PHP mailer init action to modify PHP mailer's behavior. Then it defines a function that configures PHP mailer to send emails via SMTP. Next, it enables SMTP to ensure emails are sent via an external mail server. And lastly, it configures SMTP settings like the server, authentication, port, username, password, security, and sender information. With the two main steps of the manual SMTP configuration completed, you can go and test if the code is actually functional by heading to your WordPress website contact form and sending an email through it. My form accepts a name, last name, email, and message. And once I input that, I can simply click send and check my inbox for the message. The email address that will receive the contact form submission is the email address set in my form settings. Besides the programmatical method of setting up an SMTP server, in WordPress, you can complete the same task using a plugin. For this tutorial, I use a plugin by WP Forms called WP Mail SMTP. Of course, you can decide to go directly to the WordPress repository and download it, as well as proceed with manual installation. But in the next steps, I'll show you how to install the plugin through WordPress admin. So first, navigate to the WordPress admin dashboard and look at the left side menu. There, you should see the plugins tab. Click on the tab and then add new plugin. On the new page that opens, you can search for the plugin by name. After you find it, click on install now. Upon installation, proceed to activate the plugin. Once you're all ready, go into the plugin settings and launch the setup wizard. In the wizard, you'll first be asked to choose your SMTP mailer. As we're not using any of the listed, select other SMTP. As the second step, you'll have to configure the mailer settings, which entails defining the SMTP host, encryption, port, authentication, username, and password. In my case, I'm using the SMTP server offered by MailTrap Email Sending, which gives me high deliverability, 
industry best analytics, and live 24-7 support. Finally, along with the mentioned details, you have to define the from name and from email, which should be under your verified domain. The WP Mail SMTP plugin will also allow you to decide which email features you want to enable, although some of them will be accessible only to users of the Pro version. If you want, you can also sign up to receive suggestions from the plugin on optimizing deliverability and growing your business, or simply skip this step. If you decide to use the light version of this plugin, you can also skip the next step, which involves entering your license key. For those using WP Mail SMTP Pro, you'll have to retrieve and enter this key to unlock the extra features and only then proceed. The plugin will then check your configuration and if everything is in order, allow you to finish the setup. To check how things are working, you can send a test email. For this, you'll have to give a recipient email address and decide on the test email format. If the sending goes smoothly, the plugin will notify you with a success message, but you can also double check by going to your inbox. Another way of testing your SMTP configuration made using this plugin is to simply go to your website's contact form and send an email from there as shown earlier in this tutorial. So if you prefer that route, don't hesitate to give it a go. Thus far in this tutorial, we've only sent emails via the user interface. This was done mostly to test the functionality of our SMTP server and didn't involve much explaining of what goes on behind the scenes. So now I'll go through the lines of code that handle email sending via SMTP straight to the code. To write the script, first open the file where you want to store the code for the custom email functionality. This file should be located in your site's root directory. Then for the code, add lines that will do the following. Set the recipient email address. Define the subject of the email. Specify the email message content. Set the email format to HTML instead of plain text. And call the WP Mail function to send the email using WordPress's mail system. To add an attachment to the email, you can expand the code with these three lines. The first line creates an array containing the image's file path. The second line defines the email header that specifies the sender. Lastly, the third line calls the WP Mail function to send the email. The WP Mail function accepts a few parameters, which include the recipient's email, the email subject, the email message content, the sender details, and the attachment. So don't forget to add all the mandatory ones before you run the script by typing in its URL in your browser. Since in the code, we called the WP mail function twice, running this script should send off two emails, one without an attachment and one with an attachment. But if you open the emails and decide you want to customize their appearance and structure, you can do so with the help of the WordPress email templates plugin. As promised in the intro of this video, in today's bonus section, I'll show you a valuable security tip for all of you using the WP Mail SMTP plugin. This tip will enable you to secure the SMTP password field so it can't be changed by any other users with access to the WordPress admin dashboard. But before we get into any of the details, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on our upcoming tutorials. To begin the process of securing your SMTP server password, open the WP config file and add two new lines to the code. The first line forces SMTP to stay enabled, preventing accidental deactivation. The second line locks the SMTP password so it cannot be changed in the admin panel. With the code in place, you can refresh the page containing your password and see that it's no longer changeable. After that, save the settings, and this security measure should be fully in place. And that wraps up this tutorial on sending emails in WordPress. If you want to learn more about using PHP to create an email sending functionality, we have a detailed tutorial linked below that you'll want to check out. We'll see you there.